Meet Black Off, the all-in-one pesticide fertilizer. This botanical mixture of extracts from different plant species is fostering the organic farmer's ability to improve yields. Tuino kuno nyereza, no kurumirwa, habari mibafu nyebatia mkulima kwa abu. We are constantly searching for ways to assist our farmers through their challenges. During our research, we found that some of our members were able to produce organic products that could serve as solutions. Thus, the idea of Black Off came to be. So, what is Black Off made of? We collect organic plants, to which we add other items like banana and potato peelings. These are added together, formulating a nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium-rich mixture that influences the crop's maturity, flowering, and strength. The mixture is stored in plastic or clay jars and left to ferment while stirring every two days for a period running 30 to 45 days. After the fermentation process, here is where we store the product. We add some coconut oil to it as a preservative and also as an antiviral element, rendering the product ready for use. In making black off, we were targeting fighting the black coffee twig borer. This led us to carry our samples to the National Coffee Research Institute, Nakori, to aid us in our research. Over to the National Coffee Research Institute to find out what the researchers discovered. We look at the different stages of an insect. We look at the egg, we look at the pupae, we look at the larvae, we look at the adult. And so the synthetic uh, EMAX uh, performed 70%, it killed 70% of the weevils. Uh, Black off, I think, killed about 66.7%. That's the concentrated. Then the dilute was about 50 something. And then water, we also use water because water is our control. In, uh, in our experiments, it killed 25%. But our worry as a scientist is that this insect bores inside, inside the, the primary branches. So, and uh, all these biopesticides, they are, they, are, they are contact. One of the recommendations we are saying, we take it to the lab, I mean to the field and see, but also to see if it can be made uh, systemic. That's uh, moving through the, the, the plant. Kati, ne tuwa utama lukola tuwa yozi, ne tuzi tuwa samples of ne tuzi wako balimi, betuwa After the trials, we took our samples to the farmers for field testing. Some of them had faced fungal infections in their crops, which would have required a fungicide. However, they seemed to be treated with the use of black off. Others had faced bacteria infections, like banana fusarium, and viral infections like banana bacteria wilt that are transmitted through the soil. Uh, banana bacteria wilt is a nasty viral at this time. Here is a farmer fighting the black coffee twig borer. The products we use serve different purposes to us as coffee farmers in tackling pests and diseases. Specifically for the twig borer, the other chemical we used could cause side effects. Ever since I started using Black Off, my workers no longer complain about itchy skin or inability to come in the next day. This seems to note that the ingredients used in this production are not harmful to humans. When inspecting the plantation, to identify a trick borer infection, look out for a dried off branch on the plant. This is as a result of the trick borer that feeds on the inside of the branch. If this festation is not treated early, the whole branch dries up. It can only be seen after breaking off the branch. It lays many eggs that pose further threat to the crop. It is a very small pest 
However, it causes great damage. Kauka katini nyo na yate kabula venyo. Echupa yangi. Eya meo zero kumi. From one liter of black off, I get 10 to 15 liter sprayers that are able to serve one acre. I do not spray the whole plantation, rather only the infected crops. And what day? Treta ga company ya black off, but to tell all branches. We need the Black Off Company to set up branches closer to us. Whenever I need the product, I have to facilitate its transportation from Kampala. This leads me to spend more money than the cost of the product. When I am hard up, I have no choice but to resort to another product, which isn't ideal. Some farmers have been able to use Black Off on banana plantations. During the rainy season, I use 100 milliliters of black off per 20 liters of water and spray all around the banana plant. During the dry season, I use 200 mils per the same 20 liters. I found that this aids the roots to get water from the soil. I have also found that this also helps the plant to bring forth young roots. I endeavor to utilize one 20 liter sprayer between 10 to 15 banana plants. It is finding more uses even with eggplant farmers. Previously, from half an acre of eggplants, I was getting one sack at harvest time. However, now I realize close to four sacks from the same half an acre. Ever since I started using the black of fertilizer, sometimes the fruits could shrivel up. However, now I get big ones without pests, unlike in the previous harvests before black off. I find its use quite friendly. I do not have to use a lot of protective gear. I simply wash my hands after application and do not experience any side effects. Given these cases and the research, the ball is in the authorities' court. I make this plea to the Ministry of Agriculture and the National Bureau of Standards. We have gone through all procedures with them and are in possession of documents issued by them that show the effectiveness of the product. Once the Standards Bureau issues the certificate, Black Off will be able to reach a wider market as we are able to distribute it. An experiment depicting the effect Black Off has on the soils. The paper in jar A sinks faster than the one in jar B depicting the ease with which the water has infiltrated it. Even as with the soils, black off facilitates easier water and nutrient extraction by the roots. Let's celebrate black off. This innovation is showing great progress in its infancy.